Now, in order to test the ANOVA statistic, we're going to use something called an F-test. And the F-test is the ratio of explained variance to unexplained variance. The explained variance is what we are going to, we're going to represent the explained variance with the between group sum of squares. And this is the portion of the variability that is explained by the grouping structure. So for example, in the case where, so let's look at this first. So if f conceptually doesn't exactly equal this, but if f is the ratio of sum of squares between over sum of squares within, when we have a lot of variability between groups, that's going to make the numerator of this equation go up. And likewise, when there's a lot of variance between groups, we're going to find that there's less variance within the group. So the, deno so the denominator is going to go down. In which case, when there's a lot of between group variability, we're going to have a high F statistic. Okay? But when there's, uh, when the opposite is true, when there's a low amount of variability between the groups, that's going to mean that there's a lot of variability within the groups and our F statistic is going to go down. So the F test is the ratio of explained variance to unexplained variance. But we can't just divide SSB over SSW. We're first going to standardize them into these mean squares, mean sum of squares between, and the mean sum of squares within. So to get the MSB, we're going to take the sum of squares between and just divide by the degrees of freedom of between. And the degrees of freedom for between is just K minus 1, the number of groups minus 1. And for the degrees of freedom for the denominator, in order to get the mean sum of squares within, we are going to have n minus k degrees of freedom. So n is the overall sample size, so the sum of the three sample sizes, divided uh, minus k, the number of groups. So if we calculate f in this way, uh, we can then conduct an f test. So an F-test has a sampling distribution from something called the F-distribution. And the F-distribution is another probability distribution, like the normal distribution and the T-distribution. However, the F-distribution depends on two parameters. It depends on the degrees of freedom associated with the numerator, which we'll call DF1, which is equal to the number of groups minus 1. And the second parameter is the degrees of freedom associated with the numerator, which is n minus k, the, s the overall number of observations minus the number of groups. The F-test is always one-tailed, which is good for you. You don't have to determine if it's going to be a directional or non-directional test.